Hello and welcome to episode 43 of Melver Idol. Today we'll play hardcore and we'll take a risk. We're gonna literally play with fire. We're gonna try the volcanic cave. This should unlock, of course, air god, earth god, all these dungeons. And if I do it 100 times, this difficult dungeon, which I forgot the name and it's pretty dangerous. I remember that from a long time ago. But what I, why I'm interested in this is fire cape, of course, and these four pieces of equipment. It's the next step to pro of progression, but I had to prepare. So how did I prepare for this? And I don't even know if I'll make it. Well, let's take a look at my gear. So this is, of course, my food. And I've been spending time on summoning. I wanted this, which gives me... Um, Maximum hit for melee and accuracy 78 summoning maximum hit and a life steal. But there's no synergy, I think. In fact, I'm sure. Only what you get synergy is with this goblin thing related to gold. And it just gives gold for hits or gold on hit or gold on kill and there's nothing else. Unfortunately, I wish there was a synergy between these two. So, weapon, this uh, inflicts bleed. And I have the Sand Storm Ring. I think I made an episode a while ago now about this nice piece of equipment. And I have this. Now, one thing I could do in theory, I'm not going to do it, well, I'll, unless I can succeed, would be to create this. I technically can. I think it will take forever. But first, I want to try the dungeon. It's very dangerous, though. I'll be using this too. It's a. Uh, oh! Why is it not equipped? I don't know. Give me a sec. It should be equipped right now. And it's not. And I wonder why. So, this will uh, inflict a slow. But it's not equipped. And I equipped it, so I don't understand what's up. What's going on? Oh, here it is. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what's, what is this? I don't know why it doesn't show. See? It doesn't show why. Makes no sense. Okay, it's there. And I made sure reuse potion for this skill, so I don't lose it. So I'm going to try this. Okay. Uh, you're going to see after the fact commentary because I'll record and show you fast forward otherwise it would be boring to watch it's like watching paint dry oh prayers prayers I'll use this okay I'll let you read it you're probably very familiar with it and depending on the element of the mob I'll use one of those um, I don't think there's anything else. Maybe one thing I want to show you also is in agility. There's nice things I could get, such as this, maybe. But I need a lot of Slayer coins. There's something else I could do from that. Oh, also in astrology, I got this pet. You know, this can go all the way if I really mess it up. Anyway, also the food, yeah. Now there's perfect food. I didn't know that. So I played with cooking a little bit. I bought those furnaces. I don't know how it works yet. In a future episode, I'll explore it on normal, especially if I'm dead. Do you think I'll make it? I don't know. It's been too long. So with how much damage I take, 47% completion. But I knew at one point I would have to take some risk playing hardcore. And I feel like this could be right. So let's try it out and let's hope uh, things will go well. See you in a second. All right, let's go. The first part would be normal speed, then times two, then times four for the last boss. So I'm already announcing that I'll reach the last boss. That's not a surprise. We got the first mob getting killed, one shot. It's really the last boss I was worried about, usually in places like this. There's no problem with the normal mobs. The second last mob I'm going to be more careful, but as you can see, I have no problem and I'm switching 
my prayers according to the type of damage that they do. But it's pretty easy right now. We'll see how it goes with the final boss because it's going to be scary numbers. When it comes to maximum hit, and I'll put a little zoom in in the montage to show you what I mean. If you more or less familiar with the interface here, if you more or less play this game, okay, I'll show you the um, thing that scared me at the last boss. We already had a second last mob, and this is times two speed. That's why I decided to uh, accelerate the footage, otherwise it would be very boring to watch. Look at how bleed works. It's really nice. I like it. And my potion is pretty good. That's the snail. Potion will slow down the mobs a little bit. So it's pretty good. So this one is not a problem either. It can hit me for 300. I got 800 HP. Not a problem. The issue could be the boss. So the boss can hit me. I'm going to show you here. 667. You see how he went down? I started with a good sequence. I got 41% chance to hit him. But look at my health. I'm mashing heal right now though. If I babysit this boss, if I completely babysit it all the time, I could probably farm this. I mean, I'm not going any lower than in the 700s. So, I don't know. Uh, I'll have to make a decision if I should farm this or not, because I need a lot of those chests. What I really needed is this cape. It's a very nice, very nice cape, especially compared to what I am using right now. They're all the same, the cooking cape and all these things. This is lore, I don't really care about it. I think I recognize this from the past. And of course, elite chests, I'm gonna need a lot of them. Got nothing good out of it, but there's good equipment I can get there. That's why I need to farm there and also to unlock some dungeons. Defeat Volcanic Cave 100 times to unlock. I forgot the name of the dungeon once again. And now Air God Dungeon is now unlocked, but I'm not going there yet. I want the full gear from Elite Chess before I go in the Air God Dungeon. Too dangerous. Um, also, so here I'm just showing the Fire Cave. I know I'm going to show something related to health because the boss can hit me in the 600s. Maybe he missed all the time, you know? So I want maybe more health, right? And also there's an obstacle I'm interested in, but it requires 99 health and that's going to take forever. So I may not be able to get it. If you look at agility here, right there, see level 99 health. This is nice though, I want that, but it's too much. So I'm going to have to manage my expectations here and not get that. But anyways, I'll get more agility. I'll think about it. I'll try to find a way to farm this. But it went well. I'm super happy. So yeah, that will pretty much be it. We'll look at our stats. Really happy that we're still alive and the game is still going. Cooking and thieving are two things we're going to look at in the next normal episode. I really want to get this out of the way because it was changed a while ago before I stopped, just before I stopped playing. But yeah, for the next hardcore episode, I want to reach above 50% completion and really in items that's going to be easy to do. There's many of them that are obtainable without any effort. Even some monsters, certain areas that I did not visit yet, I can crush a lot of those mobs. And here we can see the boss that I just killed. And as I said earlier, I think I'm able to farm him if I really babysit it. We'll see how it goes. But we're gonna go back to softcore first and then I'll probably play on the side and once in a while maybe visit that dungeon and try to get a bit stronger. We'll see how things go. So that would be it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.